So before I start this video, I just want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Dyson. I will be doing a thorough review and I already told them that if I did not like the tool, I would not do this video. So take it for what it is, but I do want to let you guys know that this is a sponsored video. I'm going to give you my honest opinion about this product. Can't wait to share it with you. Let's go. As a professional stylist, I'm always on a search for the next big thing. A tool that creates better and more consistent results. Something that inspires creativity and pushes the limits of what once seemed impossible. Design meets functionality, less heat, half the damage, cord-free versatility, the only straightener with flexible plates that shape to gather the hair. The Dyson Corral is the most awarded straightener of 2020. think about Dyson, I, I have lots of Dyson products. I have Dyson vacuum, I have a Dyson blow dryer, uh, you know, I have Dyson fans, Dyson air purifiers. So uh, for me, this was kind of a no brainer going into this video um, that I was probably going to like this iron. Now the challenge with this iron is that the price tag is high. So what justifies the price tag? So the first thing that separates this iron from everything else is it's cordless. So you pull it off the charging dock and you can use it, no cord, and then you put it right back onto the charging dock and it starts to charge up. Now my concern as a professional stylist was how long does it last with the charge and then how fast does it charge back up? Because if I'm using it on my client, I wanna put it back on the dock and I want it to charge quickly. Now one thing I wanna tell you guys is that when I got this out of the box, I put it on the charging dock right away. It was at about a quarter charge coming out from the factory. And before I even started this video, it's now fully charged up and ready to go. And that was probably 15 minutes. Now, the only other concern I had besides how long does it last and how quickly does it charge was the weight of the iron. How heavy is it gonna be? It obviously is holding a battery inside because it's cordless. So uh, this is probably the third time I've put it in my hand. It feels very, very comfortable. That's the first thing. It does feel heavier than a normal flat iron, but not too heavy to work with, which I really like. So um, it's obviously all about comfort. It feels very comfortable. I knew it was going to. Obviously, like I said, I've used Dyson products before. I know the quality of the design and everything that they put into it. So when I hold it in my hand, it feels really, really good. So with that being said, those were the only two concerns I really had about this tool. And I think they passed the test. So now let's get into the features and benefits of this iron. The first thing I noticed about this iron, and I was actually, again, a little bit concerned about, was it said on the website that you can fly with this iron based on the battery. But for me, I was like, sometimes when I fly, my toothbrush turns on in my bag and it just goes to town. So I was concerned that this would turn on and then heat my bag up to 400 degrees and light something on fire. Here's the best news of the day. There's this little pull tab right here that has an airplane on it. And when you pull that tab out, um, it stops the circuits so it won't heat up. It can't turn on when you're on an airplane. Thank you, thank you for that. Another thing I love about this iron is it's got a, this lock function so you can lock it shut and put it in your bag. It's very, very easy to take with you. A lot of stylists nowadays are on the go quite often. So just being able to lock that up, throw it in my bag and go is good. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead, unlock the iron and to turn it on, you press the power button and then it's gonna kind of guide you on what to do. So right away, you turn it on and now you've got the minus. So you press the minus and then you're gonna set your heat setting. There's three heat settings on this iron. So the first one is 330 degrees, then you have 365, then you have 410. So when talking to Dyson, their biggest recommendation was to keep it as low heat as possible. So the 330 degrees, they recommend doing it at the beginning. As a professional stylist, I believe in the same thing. I think you should start with the lowest heat, see if that works. If it gets you the result you're looking for, then stick with it. If you need to go a little bit higher, then you go a little bit higher, but there's no reason uh, to crank up your iron to 410 degrees because you think it's gonna iron faster. That's not the case. So another thing that I noticed about this iron is when I started to heat it up, I turned it off so that I could show you guys the flexible plates. Now, I knew that these plates were still hot because the power button stays red until it's no longer hot. So that's another cool feature is you never really know when your iron's cooled off. 
Well, now you do based on that feature right there. Now I wanna get into one of the most exciting parts about this tool is the flexible plates. So when you look at the plates on this iron, when you push them in, it flexes right at that moment of where you're pushing. Um, that's unlike any other iron out there. So most irons have a flat plate and it doesn't flex at all. It might move back and forth or up and down, but this literally, as soon as you push in in a certain spot, it flexes in that point. And what that's gonna do for you is when you have a section of hair and you're running this iron down, it's going to bend and move and groove with that section. So sometimes a section of hair that we grab, it's thicker in one part, thinner in another part. So what's gonna happen is if you have a flat plate and it doesn't flex, it doesn't move. When I put that on that section, the thicker part is gonna take on the heat. The thinner part of that section is not gonna get heat at all. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna create extra passes with the iron. You're gonna keep going over and over that section to get it smooth because then it'll kind of work the hair out. What this will do is it'll flex around that whole entire section, which will help smooth that panel quicker, which in turn reduces the amount of heat that you're gonna put onto that section, which in turn is going to reduce the damage from the heat. If you're a professional stylist and you're watching this video, there's one thing that I want you to know and one tip I want you to have. So this has a 30 minute runtime, but that doesn't mean that you take that whole entire 30 minutes and you iron through. There's a lot of time when we're working through and we're ironing hair that we set our iron on the table and then we take our section and then we bring it back up. If you're working like that in the salon, the one recommendation I would give you is that as you iron the hair, if you take a break, you put it right back onto the dock. It's really easy. It sits on there. It's obviously also not gonna burn your table that way. Uh, and then when you wanna use it, you take it off and you start ironing again and then you set it over there. Just use it like it's your assistant in the salon. So now that I've gone through all the features and benefits of the Dyson Corral, the two things I wanna do with it, I wanna show you guys how it smooths out extra curly hair. I think that's a big question that most people will ask. And then I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step -step two of my favorite styling tips. All right, here we go. All right guys, so we're gonna put this thing through the test right now. So we're gonna start off with extra curly hair and I wanna show you guys with one pass what this iron can do. So we're going scalp to ends, 365 degrees. We're not maxing out the heat. You don't have to do that. And that's one of the things I wanna get through to you guys through this video is that it's not about the amount of heat. It's about the consistency of the plates. So not only are these plates flexible, but they also have intelligent heat control, which regulates the temperature of those plates over a hundred times per second. So it's going back through, checking to make sure that your temperature is consistent. So you get the result you're looking for every time. So let's look at this from one more angle. This is the overhead view. You can see how curly the hair is in my fingers. And now as I pass over it, one pass with this iron, 365 degrees, look how smooth and shiny the hair gets. Look at our before and after there. All right, so now we're gonna flip hair textures here. Now we're fine and blonde and straight, but also if this was medium and wavy, I would do the same exact thing. I'm gonna work scalp to mid shaft with a paddle brush, pulling tension using the heat from my Dyson blow dryer to straighten and, and pull and smooth the hair. And then all I have to do with my Dyson Corral is go in and work that mid shaft to ends just to polish them up and I just do one pass with that iron just to smooth everything out. So you can see diagonal back section about two inches from the scalp and I just let it glide over the hair and work my way all the way through getting everything nice and smooth. So now I'm gonna go in and do a flat iron curl technique. Now some of you guys may have seen this before but I'm telling you with the Dyson Corral it's almost like it was meant to be a curling iron as well. Um, as I work it through those flexible plates they bend and move to really form a perfect spiral curl uh, throughout the hair. So I just put the iron in the hair, I twist it half back, I slide and glide through it all the way through, and then I use my finger to kind of twist and allow that curl to rest and set uh, and cool off. All right, so now we're gonna finish up our last section here, uh, just creating those beautiful waves, tons of volume in this end result. And then also look at that smooth polish and shine on the opposite side. This is such a versatile iron. Hope you guys like this demo. Let me know in the comments. So the biggest thing I wanna talk about before I finish this video is the flexible plates and how that felt when I was using it. I really feel like this is something that's gonna revolutionize how irons work. It feels like no other iron I've ever used. I felt like it was flexing when I used it. It was a soft feel to it, uh, almost like a Cadillac suspension feel. Uh, when you're driving down the road. It definitely uh, did not feel hard on the hair. The last thing I wanna address is the battery life. I did not have any issues with the battery life during this uh, 
segment. I ironed the curly hair, then I ironed the straight hair. I kept putting it on the dock in between uh, my sections when I needed to rest and just section. Um, so I didn't have any issues. Now here's another thing that might calm your nerves a little bit. It can be a regular iron as well. So if it runs out of battery, the cord unhooks from the base and it goes right onto the iron. So then you have a regular flat iron with a cord. It's no big deal. So for me, I can't really see myself using any other flat iron from this point forward. Uh, we'll see obviously as innovations go, but the flex plates are a key thing for me. The other funny thing was I didn't really realize that I would love not having a cord so much, but I even at one point kind of whipped the, the iron over the head because I was thinking it had a cord. Uh, and then the fact that it didn't was pretty awesome. So uh, with everything being said, everything about this iron, I love it. So I hope you guys got a lot out of this video. Let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, I'll definitely jump in there and answer them for you. Uh, I wanna get you guys as much information as possible. Obviously, I know this is a big investment for every hairdresser out there. And some of you guys, maybe it doesn't make sense, but if you are looking to invest, if you're gonna buy a new iron, you might as well uh, save up a little longer and buy something that is actually going to be game changing in your career. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys on the next one.